हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर ईवीएस लेक्चर स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड सब्जेक्ट ईवीएस दैट इज साइंस लेसन नंबर सेवेंटीन पॉलीतीत हेल्दी बॉडी पार्ट टू इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट मिल्क तीत एंड परमानेंट तीत नाउ वी विल मूव फॉरवर्ड ओपन या टेक्स्ट बुक पेज नंबर वन जीरो टू कैन यू टेल मैनी पीपल लूज देर तीत वेन दे ग्रो ओल्ड बट सम पीपल लूज देर परमनंट तीत क्वाइट अर्ली वॉट कूड बी द रीजन्स फॉर दैट तूत डी के कूड बी द रीजन फॉर लूजिंग द परमनंट तीत अर्ली नाउ स्टूडेंट्स we will see how we will take care of our teeth taking care of our teeth after eating something we should wash our mouth scrub our teeth inside and outside with a finger we should swill plenty of water in our mouth and rinse it well four or five times students if we do not do that particles of food remain in the mouth they stick to our teeth and tongue they get stuck in between the teeth if they remain there the teeth begin to rot rot means decay or decompose then we get bad breath that is the mouth smells bad if this happens often the gums are also affected they may ooze blood and pus this foul substances go into our stomach then we can fall ill because of the rotting particles in the mouth our teeth decay slowly the teeth become loose and in the end they fall we must avoid this for that we must brush our teeth in the morning and before going to bed at night we must also clean our gums and tongue neem or bubble sticks are sometimes used for cleaning teeth some people buy tooth powder from the market or make it at home many people use a toothbrush and toothpaste neem and bubble sticks or homemade tooth powders do not clean well from the gaps between our teeth also tooth powder can be rough while the neem or bubble sticks are hard they can injure our gums using a brush and tooth paste we can clean the gaps between the teeth properly besides the form of the tooth paste helps the particles stuck between teeth to come loose and get washed away students now we will try a short experiment why must we wash our hands before we eat so students first you will take a glass beaker half full of water tell any student of your class to wash his or her hands in the beaker of water mean students you will wash your hands in that beaker of water then look at his or her hands see if the water in the beaker has changed in any way what do you see the hands that were washed in the beaker became clean the water in the beaker 
looks slightly muddy you will find that the same thing happens no matter which of your classmates tries this now students you are at home so you can try this with your brother sister or with your friend what does this tell us all day while playing or working our hands become dirty so we must wash our hands before we eat do you know students sometimes when we get scratches or a wound that bleeds people apply wet mud to the injury but it is wrong to do so it infects the cut or wound which may start oozing pus remember it is for us to keep our body clean if we eat with unclean hands the dirt on the hands goes into our stomach we can get a stomach upset so we must not forget to wash our hands before we begin to eat just as it is necessary to keep our teeth clean it is important to keep our hair and nails clean too we must also keep our sensory organs clean we must bath every day we must wash our hair at least once a week who are the really smart ones everyone brushes their teeth in the morning but the smartest people they brush their teeth before they go to bed every single night too everyone washes their hands after a meal and the smartest they wash their hands without fail before a meal too students what we have learned we will go through it once the teeth we get when we are small are called milk teeth they start falling at 7 or 8 years of age then we get new teeth once again these are called permanent teeth if permanent teeth fall we do not get new teeth in their place so we must take care of our teeth if our teeth are dirty foul substances go into our stomach we can fall ill we must wash our hands before we eat we must keep our hair our nails our sense organs and the entire body clean students always remember it is for us to keep our body clean i hope you all have understood this lesson very well thank you